Hi, this is Ronnie from r and &R Importers. We've got a new model in that I want to do a quick demo on. Um, it's the Android Star Z2 clone. So it's a clone of the Sony Z2. Uh, it doesn't have the glass back. It's not waterproof. There's your USB input with your mic. It's got metal strips on the side, which is quite nice with your volume up and down. Your power button, uh, up to 13 megapixel rear camera with flash, and your headphone jack. It does have a notification LED, <clears throat> so when you do have missed calls and stuff, it will show you there. And I believe you can change the colors and stuff for what it must look like. Then another function I can quickly demo is when you you can set it that when you maybe on silent and you do get a call that you get the flashing backlight. Okay, from there you can end it, answer it or send a message. So we'll end that one. Okay, so um, it's got the octa core. Oh, and then maybe just quickly show you the case. It does come with a case like this. Uh, when the case is on, you can un and you unlock it. You close the case. You see your miss call right there swipe it like that from there you can play your music and stuff so play your music right from there Okay, and then we open it, it will open and then you unlock. So into the phone, here we've got the wallpaper on. It does have standard wallpapers as well. It's got the look of the Sony phones. Uh, I've ran uh, and two to benchmark, so that's basically just to test the CPU. It has the HD screen, it's got the octa core processor, which means it's got eight cores. Um, the ranking okay, the test was 27,100, and your ranking chart. There you've got your Z2, and as you can see, it's right up there with the S4. It's much higher than the Samsung Galaxy S3. And then when you do want to compare it, so let's compare it to the old the Sony Xperia Z. As you can see, it outscores the Xperia Z by far with total score. Multitasking is better, runtime is is pretty much the same and then CPU, CPU float, it's all higher. RAM speed is higher, 2D graphics is higher, 3D is slightly lower and then storage and database is higher again. Compare it with the Samsung Galaxy S3, <coughs> pretty much beat it out on all the stuff except RAM speed which is uh, just a few points lower than the Samsung S3. So basically this phone is still almost half the price and you're gonna pay for the Samsung S3 for instance and as well the Sony Xperia Z and it outperforms it on the processor no problems there. Uh, and then also if you compare it with the octa-core Samsung Galaxy S4 it actually outperforms it with a thousand points. Uh, multitasking is a bit lower. Runtime CPU, CPU float, RAM is all higher. 
uh, RAM speed is a bit lower, 2D graphics a bit lower, 3D graphics and so on. So as you can see it's very fast, opening apps is very fast. Uh, under your settings you've got your general Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, those kind of stuff, wireless display that's to connect say to your HDTV that has that capability then you'll see all your stuff on the HDTV you've got language input, notification light, that's where you change that notification LED color red, calls LEDs blue so when you get an email and stuff it should show red and messages it's green and then pulse notification light uh, when new notification is received and then it's got gesture sensing and flash alert is when you get a incoming call that's the flash on the back lights up okay and then we can quickly the camera it does come with built-in flash And as you can see, it's very quick taking pictures. Uh, it just stores it under a different thing at the moment, but we can have a look now. So under good light conditions, it's obviously going to be um, a very decent camera. You can do your video recordings. You can quickly go into gallery. And I must just check where I put those, where it stored those files. Okay, there's a camera. So this is was taken with this camera, I believe. Uh, no, that was one with the other ones. I think this is the one I'm looking for. Okay, so this is the photos that it took outside earlier today so as you can see it's pretty decent pictures obviously low light conditions uh, any cell phone is not going to be brilliant this was taken under pitch black or pitch dark conditions and when you compare it to the Qbot X6 uh, gallery. The QBOT is slightly, has a slightly better flash and night shots. So the flash on the QBOT is better. Price on both is more or less the same. This one is maybe a hundred NAM dollars cheaper. Uh, but if you like the look of it then uh, that's the the comparison between the two with night shots. Okay, and it's very slim, they both basically the same thickness. Uh, this one is a bit lighter in the hand. And then going into some other stuff quickly, you've got your emails, you've got your file manager. This one go comes with one gig RAM and eight gig memory. You've got your FM radio, maps, Play Store where you download all the the apps and those kinds of things. Um, obviously music, uh, movies. Quickly play a movie. Oh, I did take some uh, video as well with it. Quickly have a look there. That one. Okay, so video is also quite nice. And then obviously you can play full movies on it. If you want.
one too. So there is some movies there. So no issues running movies and stuff. Okay, and then maybe just quickly go into the web browser. Because I prefer Google Chrome, but there are many other browsers, or you can use a standard browser. No thanks. Let's quickly go. Dot Namibian. <coughs> and I'm currently connected to Wi Fi. It's dual SIM cards, but uh, for those people that don't like the two displays, it's only display one when you only have one SIM card inside. Okay, so that's web pages. Uh, zoom in and out or tap. So that's the way you'll see websites and stuff. And then calculator, those kinds of things are standard on your documents. So for uh, the price, I think it's a very nice device. It goes right up there with uh, some of your top phones, speed wise, um, all that stuff. Uh, do come to the shop, come and have a look you're going to be pleasantly surprised when you see this stuff in your hand um, and for the price I think uh, it's, a, it's a bargain so um, I hope to see you at the shop and thanks for watching, bye